girls are way better than boys. Huh? What? Did you just hear that, Roxy? Girls are not better than boys. Boys are the best. Exactly. You boys don't know what you're talking about. Girls are way better than boys. Really, Lily? No, they are not. And I can prove it to you. Then prove it. How about we do a girl versus boy challenge? And we can see who can build the best amusement park. Really, Lily? You're going to challenge us? Yeah, I just did, didn't I? How dare you? Come on, Roxy. Let's build the ultimate boys amusement park. Follow me. And Lily, you can build your girls amusement park. And we'll see what's better, girls or boys. Girls is gonna win. I can't believe this, Roxy. Lily really thinks girls are better. How is that even possible? Yeah, boys are the best. Exactly, and that's why we're gonna make a boys-only amusement park, and Lily's not allowed. So let's make it super awesome and manly and scary. Yes, let's do it! And I have a perfect idea on what to make. What are we gonna make? We're gonna make a super awesome roller coaster go through a bunch of cool things like a giant zombie and cool statues. That sounds so awesome! So let's make the roller coaster start all the way in the entrance of our amusement park just over here like this. And we're gonna make it go a little bit high up just like that. And Roxy, while I build the blocks, you place the rails, all right? Okay, I'm doing it! Good job, Roxy. And let's build all the way to this height. And here is where the first statue is going to be. We're going to make it a statue of a super duper scary zombie. That sounds awesome. And boys love zombies because zombies are scary. Let's do it. But how are we going to do that? Well, first, let me grab a zombie head. And Roxy, can you put this on so I know what they look like? I kind of forgot. Okay, boo. And oh, oh my gosh, there's a zombie. Oh, wait, wait, it's you, Roxy. Hi. Uh, I'm not afraid of zombies. Wait, did you just yell? No, 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 no. I'm a big manly boy. I had a really deep voice. I'm not afraid of anything. No, you did not. You sounded like Lily, a girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am not. My voice is super deep and manly. Sure, but let's build the zombie. All right, let's do it. And let's start with his toes first. So let's grab a real zombie and see what his toes look like. Okay, it's like gray and blue pants. All right, Mr. Zombie, bye, die. So let's grab some gray wool and some blue for his pants. And let's get started. And his feet are gonna be right over here. So let's make his feet like this. And that's his first foot done. Then let's make the second one right over here and make them connect. Perfect. Now let's make the back of his foot like that. And let's begin putting on his blue pants and his blue pants lead all the way to his hip, which is around here. And instead of placing it by hand, we could just use our magic wand and place it automatically just like that. Boom. Oh my, yo, that was so quick and his legs are complete. That's awesome. Thank you. Now next on a zombie is his shirt and it's in green. And again, sorry, Mr. Zombie, you gotta die. And now let's grab some green wool. And this green doesn't look the same. We need some lime green wool. Oh yeah, that looks way better. And now let's make his t-shirt. So let's build up like that. And again, let's grab our magical wand and make the first corner over here. And then the second one right here next to his butt. And boom, his shirt's complete. And now let's make his shoulders. So let's just build two blocks out like this on each side, just like that. And perfect. That's not the right color. Oh gosh, you actually might be right. I think the other green was better. But luckily with the quick command, we could replace it all just like that. And wait, that still looks bad. It's more of like a blue, right? Oh, yeah, you might be right. So let me undo that and change it to more of a blue. And that looks a lot better. Yeah, you're totally right. That matches so much more. Sorry, one more time, zombie. You're dead. Ha ha. But arms, he's missing his arms. Oh, my. Yo, you're so right. But one more time, uh, zombie, how do you look like? Okay, he has like greenish arms. And what type of green is it? Is it like the green wool? Yeah, yeah, this is a great match. So let's start making his arms. And yeah, that looks looks so good. So, Roxy, do the other side with this green and make his arms. So, just like this and just like this and oh my, yo, he's going to look awesome. Oh my gosh, we are now done with his arms, are you? Almost. Let me help you out with that. Let's put it all down right now, all the way to this level and then do the same on every single row, just like that. And boom, the zombie's body's now done. Uh -oh. He's missing a head. Wait, Roxy, are you serious? Oh my God, that looks so silly. But we're not gonna make his head like that. We're gonna make the roller coaster grow through his brains. That's gonna be so cool. 
So we could put a zombie head right over here just so we know how to build it. So let's begin. So first, let's make his head just like that. And I think that's a good size. And that's his chin complete. And now we just need to get different types of green. So let's see what greens we have to work with. We can use some green terracotta. And then we're going to need some black wool for his eyes. Now let's begin. And zombies have this like little mustache thingy. So let's do that. So let's put one block here, one block here. Then the mustache goes up one. Then it's his lip down here. And then just like that. And oh my, yo, he has the little mustache now. Awesome. Let's fill it all in like that and do the same on the other side. And now let's put two black wool for his eyeballs and fill the rest up with green like this. And does this look right? Oh my, yo, it um kind of sort of does. Um, add his mustache on his bottom layer. Oh yeah, you're right. Just like this. And that looks so much better. Oh my, oh, great thinking. Now let's do the rest of his head. So let's do two layers of normal green just like this. And then for the top of his head, it's not just normal green. He kind of has like some hair going on. So let's put three blocks like that on each side for his hair and then his normal forehead. Then let's make the rest out of his hair color just like that. And boom, his head is now done. And that looks awesome. We have a completed zombie. But his head is only one layer. Oh yeah, you're totally right. But luckily we have our magical wand and with some quick commands, we can add some walls and make it completely filled just like it's a house and boom. Oh, that's awesome. But wait a minute. We want the roller coaster to go through its brain, but his brain is completely filled. We have to empty this out. Yeah, you're right. Zombies don't even have brains anyway. Oh my, yo, you're totally right because zombies eat brains, but they're not going to eat mine because we're going to go through his brain. Whoa, it's hot inside now. I know, and wait, how are we gonna do this? Let's see. We need the roller coaster to go up like this, and then go into his mouth. But I want to make it cool. I want his mouth to be completely closed, and once the roller coaster gets near, it opens up automatically. How are we gonna do that? Oh gosh, that's really difficult. We're gonna need, like, redstone attached to the roller coaster somehow. Do you have any ideas on how to do that? How about we use a detector rail? Oh yeah, you're totally right. A detector rail would be perfect for this. So let me grab one and put it right here. But what do they do? They activate redstone when a minecart goes on top of it. So let me show you. Let's grab a minecart and there's a redstone piece connected to it. And when a minecart goes on top of it, it activates the redstone. Whoa, so we can use that to open the mouth. Exactly. You are so smart, Roxy. So once the minecart gets up here, it's going to activate this redstone, which is going to open a door. But how are we going to make the door open? Oh gosh, that's actually really difficult. Difficult. Oh my, yo, it's gonna need to be some really quick and hard redstone, but Roxy, I don't think I'm smart enough for this. Yeah, you're not. Let's give up. Wait, what? Roxy, are you serious? You're supposed to say, like, good words. Like, you got this, Ohms. You're the best. Nah, we're gonna fail. Roxy, no, no, no. Oh my, yo, move out of the way, Roxy. I need to use my brain right now. Okay, so we're gonna need kind of like a door, and every door is made out of pistons, so let's just try and make something happen. So let's just place some down like that and like this and do the same on this side. And I think this is right. Okay, yeah, yeah. And the mustache looks like this, so we're gonna have to put one block over here and one block over here. And then for his mouth, it's just normal wool. Now we need to activate these pistons and we need these ones to push these two blocks out and then this piston to push this block forward so it ends up over here. And to do that, I think is pretty easy. We just need to make a giant U like that. Grab our redstone repeater, put one over here and one over here each at one tick and then put redstone next to all of them and i think this is right no way this is gonna work oh roxy 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 just believe in me let's try it out so let me bring the redstone this way and attach it like that then let's go out over here and we have to make his head have some redstone wiring coming out of it i don't know why he's like a cyborg or something and then let's connect this redstone next to the rail all the way up to the piston just like that so now when a minecart comes, it should work. And wait, wait, it's not working. Why not? The redstone 
phone's not reaching. Oh my, yo, you're right. It just barely does it. We need to add a repeater right over here. And wait a minute, did it actually just work? Yeah, it closed. Oh my, yo, no way. But um, wait a minute, that's not what we want to happen. We wanted the door to open once this gets near her, not to close, because then we're just going to hit our head. But how do we do this? We have to use a redstone torch. Oh, <gasps> you're totally right. Let me grab one and then let me go over here. And I'm going to add the torch like this. So let me place a green wool block and then the torch just like that. So now it's open because the minecart's here, but it's closed when it's not. So once the minecart activates it, it opens up and boom, we can go through. But Ohms, how's the roller coaster going to continue if the pistons are here? What are you talking about? We could just do it like that. And let me show you. If I hop on the minecart and then ride forward, nothing bad should happen except for, um, wait a minute, Roxy. The rails broke. Oh my, yo, you're right. And it messed up the door. Oh gosh, we need to make it so rails appear here after we activate that. How are we going to do that? Um, I think I have a really good idea. We could use the secret block command blocks. You don't have to use that? Uh, kind of, sort of. It's basically like the magic wand. We could spawn in anything, and we're going to spawn in two rails right over here once the door opens. All right, let's try it. So let me give myself a command block because we can't get it from our menu. And let's put it right over here. And then connect some redstone to it with a repeater with four tick delay. Now let's enter in the command to spawn in two rails. And to do that, all we have to do is place down two rails and use the magic wand to grab the coordinates. And now we could go to the command block and throw it in. And it now should work. So let's test it out. When I put a minecart on, it opens and spawns in rails. Oh, that is awesome. Now let's see if it works when it closes. Will the door close? And um, no, Roxy, you just broke the rails. You have to add another command block to get rid of the rails. Oh, <gasps> you're so right. Just how we spawn them in, we have to get rid of them because it's just going to keep messing up the redstone. And to do that is super easy. All we have to do is use our magic wand to grab the coordinates again and then go over here. And instead of putting it on this side, we put it on this side, add a redstone dust above it, and put the cords in. But we put the word air. So let's test it out. If we put the minecart in, it opens up and spawns in rails. And if we close it, it makes it disappear and then closes the door. Oh my, yo, Roxy, this works perfectly. Whoa, that's awesome. Thank you so much. So now we can ride through the zombie's mouth and out on this side. So, so cool. But, oh, there's going to be a giant hole in the back of his head. Oh, gosh, you're so right. We need to make another mechanism over here. But now I know an easier way to do it. How are you going to do it? Instead of using pistons, we're just going to use command blocks. Yeah, that's way smarter. All right, so let's go back inside and add a detector rail in here and then put a redstone dust next to it with a command block and let's grab the coordinates of this door by using the magic wand and then put it inside the command block so now once the minecart hits it, it spawns in a wall. But Ohms, isn't this the opposite what we want to do? Oh yeah, you're right. We want it to become air when we hit on it. So let me make it air and now if we activate this, it makes it disappear and we can ride through. But um, the blocks has to spawn back in when we leave. Oh yeah, you're right. So all we have to do is put another redstone dust over here with a block next to it and a redstone torch so it's off right now and then put a command block up here that says green wool instead of air. So now when we're riding past, it's gonna open it up and when we leave, it's gonna close it up. Oh my yo, that is perfectly awesome. It works so well. Thank you, Roxy. But what do you say we test out the whole thing with one redstone? Run. Yeah, let's do it! Alrighty, so let's go over here, get rid of all these mine carts, and now let's grab some levers so we can power all the rails. So let's put a lever over here, flip it so now they're powered to make you go fast, flip down over here, flip it over here, and add some rails right over here. Oh, wait a minute, oh no, I forgot to put a normal rail in the corner because powered rails can't turn. So let's grab a normal rail and then put it right over here, and boom, it turns. So now let's test it out. I'm gonna put the mine cart down, and I'm off. Go, go, go. So we're going up the zombie. The mouth is closed, but it opens. And then boom, the other one opens and closes. Oh my, yo, that was awesome. 
you're totally right and both sides close the back of the head and the mouth let's go so all we have to do now is clean this up the best we can and boom we're done but um this isn't dangerous enough you're totally right lily looks like she has some pretty big falls in hers we need to make ours way more dangerous how about we add a giant drop of lava and we're gonna put it right over here after we get out of the zombie's back brain so let's break these two blocks so once this opens the minecart falls down all the way over here and we're gonna put the next block over here just like that and all of this is gonna be filled up with lava so um hopefully it works um do you think this is a little bit far uh no this is perfectly fine so let's put lava right over here and um did you want to test this out no way you try it oh gosh okay okay let me fill the head back up in the back and let's ride so let's try it out let me hop in and let's go oh my oh my oh mouth open up nice and then back open up and whoa. oh my yo roxy look right here my touch is so close to the lava that was a close one. Oh my gosh jeez louise that was insane and let's put lava all over it oh my yo but wait we gotta surround it so the lava doesn't overflow and make a giant mess so let's put a casing around the lava just like that all the way around and perfect and now let's put rails right over here so we're gonna land on it and right next to it let's put a lever nice oh um, that was super intense well that was nothing roxy because that's not even a real zombie i have a really good idea we're gonna make it even more intense by adding real mobs wait mobs Yes, mobs like skeletons that are gonna shoot us. And if we're too slow, they're gonna destroy us. Um, that sounds a little too dangerous. Roxy, 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 don't be silly. We're boys, and this is boys versus girls, and we have to make it intense. But we can't make it that dangerous. Oh, you're right. We should make it even more dangerous. I'm thinking 10 skeletons shooting at us at the exact same time. No, that's not what I meant. Uh, what did you mean then? I mean, let's add less skeletons oh my yo you're such a baby roxy let's just do it we gotta be extreme oh gosh i don't know about this i'll take that as a yes so let's do it we're gonna make the skeleton shooters right over here so let's lead the roller coaster this way let's set the blocks like this then turn over here and then go this way and perfect now let me add the powered rails but not on the corners the corners need normal rails so it could turn like that and do the same over here and finally the same over here now let's use our levers to power all the rails just like that and boom perfect we have the transitioning area and this is where the skeletons are gonna be but how are we gonna add the skeletons super easy we're gonna make 10 posts filled with skeletons so let's make the first one right over here just like this perfect and then a block over here to close him up and that's where the first skeleton is gonna be then let's do the same next to it like this and this is where the second one's gonna be then let's go over here and then add one like this and this is where the third one's gonna be and we're gonna do this all the way until we reach the end but oops it's gonna take forever no it won't roxy we could just use our magical wand to copy and paste them whoa we can do that of course we can boom i instantly placed a new one whoa how did you do that with magic baby oh yeah that's awesome and now we could just keep doing this on this side just like that that's so fast i know right commands are awesome we are literally speed running buildings so we have four on this side so let's add one more like this now we have five then let's do two more just like that and the last one over here kaboom perfect we did it yeah and you know what time it is? What? What time is it? It's time to add the skeletons. Oh, gosh, that's scary. But we need the skeletons to automatically spawn in. So let's replace all these back blocks with dispensers so we could put skeleton eggs in them so they spawn. So let's put one over here, one back here, the fourth one over here, and the fifth one. Now let's do the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Kaboom, they all have one. Now let's grab some skeleton eggs and put each one in the Spencer, just like that. I'm gonna do this side, Roxy, and you do that side. All right, buddy? Okay, I'm on it. Good job. And boom, my side has it, and I'm gonna start working at the end of your side, and we are almost complete, and I am done. I finished my side. Good job, Roxy. But how are we gonna make 
make the skeleton spawn? Good question, Roxy. That's super easy. All we have to do is go over here, grab another detector rail, and put it just like that, and connect some redstone to it, and we're gonna make the redstone hit every single dispenser just like that. And using repeaters, we could do a little cool trick. If a repeater hits a block, the redstone activation goes through the block just like that, so we can activate all the blocks just by placing repeaters. Whoa, that is awesome! Awesome. So let me disconnect it for now and then connect all the repeaters like this. Then go on the other side, add some redstone like that, and connect all the repeaters behind all of the dispensers, baby. And boom, they're all in. So now let me test it out. Let's grab a minecart, put it on the activator reel, and oh my, yo, they all spawned in. That's awesome. But, um, if we're on powered rails, won't we move too quick? Oh gosh, you're totally right because because power rails is gonna make us zoom by and we won't even fight the skeletons. What should we do? Um, oh, I have a really good idea. Instead of using powered rails, let's just use normal rails. Oh yeah, they're a lot slower. And to make us go even longer on this track, we're gonna make it zigzag. So let's place a bunch of blocks like this all the way until we reach the end. Perfect. Then let's go back to the other side and put the rails in a zigzag just like this. So we're gonna be on this section for super long and hopefully we don't die because that would suck right yeah i don't want to die neither do i but we are now complete and uh do you want to test it out no you test it out oh my yo okay first let me make it peaceful so all their skeletons disappear then let me make it easy so they can spawn back in and now let's go over here and grab a minecart and i'm gonna start from back over here ready yeah i Ready. All right, I'm off. And come on, please, please, please survive. And they spawn in. And wait, I go way, way too fast. Roxy, this is not good. How can we slow you down? Uh, maybe it's because there's way too many powered rails back here. So what if we break these, then grab some normal rails and put it like that? Let's see if this changes anything. So let me go into survival mode, hop in the minecart, and let's go. Please slow down, slow down, slow down. And I do not slow down at all. Oh my, yo, Roxy, this is terrible. What should we do? We need to find a way to slow down. Uh -huh. oh, I have a really good idea. What we're going to do is we're going to make these blocks go up like this so we lose some momentum. So let's make it go up like that. And now we should slow down by a lot. So let me put a minecart down, go back into survival mode, make it peaceful so they all despawn, then make it easy so they can come back. And let's ride. Come on, let me slow down, please. So I should... Okay, really? I did not slow down at all. I didn't even get hit once. Um, this isn't working. Oh my gosh. What can we do? What can we do? How about we just give up? No, Roxy, we can't give up. If we give up, that means the girl side is better. And oh my, yo, it actually does look better. Oh no. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Roxy, we can't give up. I have one more idea. I'm going to make all of these powered rails into normal rails. Let's see if this works. All right. Let's try it. So let me go in the minecart, go into survival mode, make the difficulty peaceful so they despawn, then make it easy so they can come back. Now let's go. Please slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Are you serious, Roxy? Nothing's working. Wait a minute, Olds. Why don't we just, like, get rid of the powered rail? Wait, is it really that simple? If I just, like, break all of these, I'm gonna be at normal speed. No way, Jose, this is gonna work. This is way too simple, right? Maybe it's simple enough to work. All right, let me try. So let's go like this and wait. Wait a minute, Roxy, this is actually about to work. No way, it works. It literally works. I told you it was gonna work. Oh, my gosh. Now let me go into survival and test this out. I can't believe it was that simple. Oh, my, yeah, we're so silly. So I'm in survival now. So let's run all the way back over here like this. Then let's make it peaceful. Then let's make it easy. And now let's ride. Let's go. And let's see if I'm going to get any shots to my head. So let me slow down. And <gasps> they're all in. And yes, it worked. Oh, my. Oh, wait, wait. I'm about to die. Ah, run, run, run. Oh, my gosh. Roxy, that was awesome. That was great. We officially made that part work. So let me go back into creative. And since Lily's doing really cool slides with water, we should add one too, right? Yeah, we have to beat Lily. But how are we going to make the normal roller coaster go into a water slide. Home. What if there's a drop from the roller coaster to the water slide? Oh my. Yo, that is genius. We can make our roller coaster go super duper uber super high up like a billion blocks in the air and then fall and then it's gonna land into a water slide. Yeah, let's do 
do that. All right, all right. This is going to be awesome. So let's grab some blocks, and I'm going to start building super high, and you put power rails behind it, okay? Because we need to gain a lot of speed. Okay, I'm on. Let's go. Oh, my. Yo, this is literally a genius idea. Lily's going to be so jealous because her water slide probably sucks. What did you boys just say? Oh, gosh. Um, Lily just heard us. Um, Your water slide sucks and it's terrible. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, we will see because boys are better. Boys, 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 boys. No way boys are better. Ah, how dare she say that? Roxy, boys are way better, right? Yeah, boys are the best. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So let me build super duper high up. Come on. We got to go high. Higher, higher, higher until we literally touch the sky. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, my guacamole. We are now officially higher than the zombie. This is intense. But this is not high enough. I want it to literally touch the clouds. This is going to be the highest drop of all time. Oh, my. Yo, this is awesome, right, Roxy? No way Lily has a drop this high, right? Yeah, this is a best roller coaster ever. Oh, my. Yo, I'm super excited, baby. And we are getting super close to the clouds. We can't give up. Let's keep going. Go, 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 go. We're like 10 blocks away come on we're about to touch the clouds and we officially are at cloud eye oh my yo this is insane i can see the whole world from a bear this is Oh, my, yo, yes. And I'll help you out with the powered rails. Let me build down. Oh, my, yo. And boom, we attached. But, Ohms, none of the powered rails are powered. Oh, my, yo, you're totally right. So let's put a lever next to all of them so they're all now powered like that. We got the top row complete. Now let's go over here, power those, then go down over here, power these, and make sure none of them are empowered. These are all powered. Wait, this one is not powered. We're missing one. And boom, they're all powered. But I really want to see how high we go. So let me grab a mine car and experience the roller coaster in three, two, one. Let's go, Roxy. Go, go, go. And oh my, yo, we're going up. We're going up. We're going up. Holy guacamole. We're higher than the zombie. And um, wait a minute. Roxy, Roxy, didn't make a stop. Ah, oh my, no. Oh, that took forever to fall. I know, right? We are super high up. But that was so much fun. I know, right? And it's now time to build a dropper to the water park. And the minecart landed right over here. So this is where the water park has to begin. And we can make it a little bit higher so we have a cool water slide to go on. So are you ready to build it, Roxy? Yeah, but I never built one before. Yeah, neither have I. I've never made like a good water slide. But today is the first day we're going to make one. So let's start building a staircase down just like this. And we also have to put walls since we're working with water. It's not as easy as my mine cards because water is actually super annoying to work with, right? Yeah, it goes everywhere. I know. So let's make some barriers just like this all along the side of it. And we are now good for this part. And then let's make it have a little turn over here like this and then make it continue going down all the way until we reach a pool that's going to be down here. Whoa. I know, right? But don't get too ahead of yourselves. We still need to build the walls on each part of the slide just like that. And we are almost done with this side. And kaboom, we're complete with that. Now let's go over here and do the same just like this and do it all over, baby. Come on. And we are now complete with the walls. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Now let's go all the way up here and Roxy put the water down in the middle. Okay, Nice, and let's see, does it work? The water goes down, the water goes down, the water goes down, and it reaches all the way down over here, and this is where our awesome giant pool's gonna be. But how are we gonna build it? Super easy. All we need to do is grab my magical wand and put the first position over here, then the second one over here and down a little bit, then make it all disappear into air, baby. Oh, yeah, but um, wait a minute. Oh, gosh, we have a problem. What's wrong? The water is flowing everywhere. Oh, my, yo, we have to make water. Walls. And since this is a pool, we're going to make it out of quartz because pools have to be made out of quartz. Oh, yeah, because it's white. Exactly. And all pools are white. So let's make the walls just like this. And oh, my gosh, this is such a hard area to work with. But we're managing and kaboom, the walls are done. Now let's go to this corner of the floor and this corner of it. And boom, we have a floor. And now all we have to do is fill it up with water. And of course, we're going to use the magic wand because it's super easy to do. And come boom we now have an entire pool filled with water and um we kind of need to fix this mess we made over here we need to make the pool higher 
Yep, you're totally right. So grab some quartz and start building so it doesn't overflow. And we are now complete with that side. And you do that side. All right, I'm on it. And I'm going to meet you to the middle. And kaboom. We now completed this side. And oh my. Yo, we have an entire swimming pool. This is awesome. I know, right? And wait, I just came up with a really good idea. What if, hear me out on this, we have animals in the swimming pool? That sounds so cool! So we can literally swim with the animals when we make it over here. So let me grab some dolphins, one of my favorite animals, because it's blue just like me. And let's put a bunch in! They're so Cute. I know, right? Look at that. And wait a minute. This guy's trying to go up the water slide. Hey, don't be silly. No, no, no. Get back inside, silly. Uh oh, how about we write a word inside the pool? Oh, my. Yo, that would be super cool. Like a design down there. But uh, what word should we put? How about we put boys? Oh, my. Yo, you're literally a genius, Roxy. We're going to write the word boys on the bottom so everyone knows this is the boys amusement park. But do you know how to spell boys? Uh, no. Is it B? Z X W? That is so wrong. Wait, what? You know how to spell boys? How do you spell it? It's B O Y S. B O Y S. Um, are you sure that's right? Yeah, that's totally right. All right, I guess if you say so. So let's go down in here and hold your breath. <gasps> And let's start building. And the first letter we're going to do is B. And since blue has a B in it, we're going to make it out of light blue wool, my favorite block. And oh my, yo, there's so many dolphins. I'm going to get rid of them. What are you going to do? Boom! And oh, wow, they're all gone. Now it's time to make the B. Um, what do you do? I had to make room, Roxy. They were being so annoying. They were swimming in my face. But the B is now complete. Wait, let me do it like that. So that looks actually like a B. Perfect. Now, the second letter is an O. And for an O, we're going to make it out of red wool just for you. So let's make the O right over here like that. And perfect. Nice job. And the last letter is a Y. And home. what color should we use? We already used a blue. And then we already used a red. What is left? How about we use pink? And Oh, pink is gross. It's the color of Lily, and Lily's our enemy. But we have to be nice. Oh, I guess you're right, Roxy. Whatever. I'm going to get pink, but I'm not going to like it. So let's grab pink, and let's make the last letter, which is a Y, right over here. And kaboom, we now have boy in the swimming pool. That's awesome, right? That is so Cool. And now let's get back our dolphins. So let me grab some more spot eggs and dolphins. You are now born again. Oh my God, there's so many. And this is super, super awesome, right? It's so great. I know, but we're missing one final thing. We're missing diving boards. Yeah, let's make some. And we're going to make three levels. The first level is going to be the baby one. And it's going to be like five blocks tall. This one's for noobs. And it's super short. Next, we're going to make that medium one, which is going to be 20 blocks high like this. Oh, that's scary. I know it is. And then finally, we're going to make the super master professional one. So let's build one jillion blocks in the air. Even higher. Even higher. We're going to make it go all the way above the roller coaster. And boom, we're above the clouds. And we're above the roller coaster. And oh, um, my uh, Roxy, this is a little bit scary, right? We're so I know, right? But I also have another thing we're going to do. When we stand on this, we're going to make ourselves get jump boost to jump super high. How are we going to do that? Super easy. First, we need a pressure plate. Then we need a dispenser. And finally, we need a jump boost potion. Now, let's place a block right over here on the side and a dispenser next to it. And then put the jump boost potion inside and the pressure plate right here. So now, when we hit the dispenser, we get jump and oh. Oh my god, we're jumping super high, baby. Oh yeah! Jump into the water! Alright, oh my god! And I landed! Phew, that was a close one. Your turn, Roxy, jump! I Nice job, but wait a minute. We didn't really jump that high. This jump boost is like two blocks high. Is there a way to make us jump higher? What if we use commands? Wait, commands? Oh my, oh, Roxy, you just gave me a really good idea. We can make a command make us jump a billion blocks in the air. How do we do that? Well, first we have to break this silly dispenser and grab a command block and put it right over here. And the command we're going to type in is going to give us an effect to the nearest player to get a potion of jump boost and we're gonna make it last 10 seconds and it's gonna be jump boost 100 so do you want to try it roxy no you try it 
Oh gosh, I guess this is a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna try it. So let me walk on and then jump. I'm um, Roxy Halawa. Where are you? Oh, I'm really high up. Oh my yo, oh my yo. I nearly in the pool. Come on and holy guacamole. I'm um, Roxy. That was insane. I Oh my, yo, that was so awesome. That is such an awesome ending. And you did it too. Let's go. That's great. And that means we have officially completed the boys amusement park. And it's awesome. But wait, Arms, we're not done. Huh? What do you mean we're not done? Every amusement park needs a giant sign. Oh, yeah. So the customers know this is the giant amusement park for boys. Yeah, let's build. And we're gonna build it right in front of Lily so she can know which one's the better one. So let's grab some wood and build one post on this side super duper high up like this. Then let's go on this side over here and then make a second post super duper high up like that. And now let's make them connect at the top just like this. And kaboom, they connect. And this is the platform that it's gonna be held on. Now what color should we make the boy sign out of? How about we make it out of red and the words out of blue. That is genius. So let me get some red wool. And wait a minute. Instead of placing my hand, let me just use the magical one and get two coordinates like this. And then boom, set some wool. And now what word should we have on this sign? How about we add boys only? That is genius. So let me grab some light blue wool. And the first letter in boys is B. I remember it from last time. So let me make a B just like this. Perfect. Now the next letter is O, right? It's O, right? I'm not wrong, Roxy, am I? Yeah, that's perfect. All right, let me add the O. Then it's a Y. And then the last letter is an S. And this is awesome. We have the first letter done. Now, boys is over here. And the next word is only. How do we spell only, Roxy? O. Okay, O. I got it. O, just like that. What's the next letter? N. N, just like this, I think. No, that does not look like an N. An N is like kind of like that. Okay, yeah. O. Oh, and what's next? L. All right, L is complete. And what's the last letter? It's E. E, are you sure? O and L E. Are you sure it's not Y? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is Y. Sorry. Oh, my God. We're so silly. But now we have boys only on a giant side. Oh, yeah. And now we're officially done. Let's go. And let's check up on Lily so we can know who's better, boys or girls. Boys are dead gonna win. Oh, Lily, we finished. Are you done? Yeah, I just finished. All right, let's check it out. So what's your first ride in your girls' amusement park? So if you come over here, it says girls. Wait, what? It says girls in pink. G-I, what does that say? R-L-S. Lily, you can't even see it because it matches with the background. It's okay. It just says girls, okay? All right, whatever. I guess the signs are right. Not as cool as ours, right, Roxy? Ours is way better. Right, Lily's yours sucks. No, Oh, you guys are pee pee poo poo heads. Really, bro? But wait, is that a water slide? Yeah, it is. Isn't it great? It is. And wow, it has a boat. Let me place it down and let me try it out. Come on. Wait, Lily, this isn't really smart. I literally fell off. This is not safe. Wait, Ohm, just don't worry about that. Just come on. Wait, what, what do you mean don't worry about it? I want to try your water slide, but it's so unsafe. Just try it without the boat. All right, I guess. And wee, this is so much fun. And I landed in the pool. That was uh kind of not as cool as ours, right, Rob? Roxy. Yeah, ours is way better. I agree, Bo. Whoa, Lily has an animal farm, and there's so many animals. There's horses, doggies, and cats. Yeah, I love them. Aw, that's so adorable, Bo. Whoa, you have your very own roller coaster, too? Yeah, isn't it great? Let me try it out to see if it's actually great. So let me grab this mine car, and let's go. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so fast. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ah, and whoa, I landed in water. That was super cool. Uh, I know. It's awesome. I guess it's awesome. Whatever. But what's this over here? This is my dolphin pool. Oh my yo. That's so cute. And wait a minute. What's this pool? This is a diving pool. Whoa. That's really cool. So we have the baby level for Lily. Then we have the medium level for Roxy. And then the pro level for me. You can't even do it, Ohms. Yes, I can. 360 double, double trouble. And woo. I landed, baby. That was awesome. Whoa. That was really Cool. Thank you, Lily. And wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh my, yo, that was awesome. And I'll give it a 6.72546 out of 10. Oh, that isn't even a number. Yes, it is. And Roxy, what do you give it? I give it what 
point you gave it. So that's your score, Lily. Six points, something, 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 something. Now it's time for the better side. The boys only side. Uh, Whoa, that side is huge. I know, right? It's ginormous. And right over here is the start of our roller coaster. Do you want to hop in? Yeah, let me try. All righty, here is your mine car. And wait, I want to ride it with you. So let me get in the front and uh, you guys get in the back. All right. Let's go! And we're off. First, we go through the zombie's mouth, and it opens, then the back of his head, then we fall on lava, and oh my, yo, we landed, and then, guess what? what? There's a bunch of skeletons, and wait, they're killing me! Ah! Run, run, run! Oh my, oh my, oh wait, I'm gonna die. Oh gosh, I gotta skip this part. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh, this is so dangerous! I know, I'm waiting for you! Hurry up, Lily! Oh gosh, oh gosh, hurry up, hurry up! Oh my, oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! Go, 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 before the skeletons kill me! Oh my, oh, hi, Lily, push me, push me! Go, go, go! We're off! And oh my god! Gosh, we're going so high all the way to the clouds, and then we fall, and then hop out of the minecart into the water slide, baby. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. And then we go into the pool, and boom. Wait a minute. All the dolphins must have died. Oh, gosh. Ignore that. Ignore that. There's no more dolphins. But this is an awesome swimming pool. I know, right? And check it out. It says boys in all of our colors. Blue, red, and pink. Oh, that says boy. Oh, yeah. We didn't have enough room for that. Ignore that. Ignore that. But isn't this awesome? Yeah, I love the zombie part. Yeah, me too. It's awesome. But that's not all. As you can see, we also have a diving board. We have the baby version for you, Lily. The medium version for Roxy. And then the super ultra pro version for the greatest of the greats. Blue people as in ohms. Whoa, this is so high up. Yeah. I know, and check this out. This pressure plate gives you jump boost 100! Wait, Ohms, where did you go? I'm super high in the air, and I'm coming down right now, and oh my god, I gotta land in the water, I gotta land in the water, come on, and wow, did you see that? That was so cool, but I'm coming down now! Oh my god, Lily, jump! Ah! Oh, and yeah, you landed, and that was awesome. But what do you give our amusement park, the boy side? I give it a fart face out of 10. Wait, what, a fart face? You can't say that, Lily. I just did. And that was an awesome adventure. And if you want to join us on our next one, click right here. Bye. Bye.